Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. Today is Holocaust Remembrance Day, also known as Yom HaShoah. Today we remember the six million Jews and millions of others killed during World War II by the Nazis. There aren't many Holocaust survivors left, so as a Jew, it is my responsibility, mine, to bear witness and to pass on their stories. I had the honor of sitting down with 84-year-old Holocaust survivor Ozzy Slotik. Ozzy saw more death as a young child in Czechoslovakia than most people see in a lifetime. At six, he was forced to wear a Star of David to identify him as a Jew. As Hitler grew in power, Ozzy went into hiding, was smuggled away from his parents, and even survived in a cave as Nazis literally marched past. Somehow, Ozzy never lost his faith in God. Here's Ozzy's story. Starting in 1942, the roundups began because the Nazis were in need of manpower. Mm. They needed slaves, basically. Mm. A part of our family was picked up, and they were, you know, I lost all my grandparents, aunts and uncles, cousins. I was the only kid in my family under the age of 15 who survived. And then when I was about six years old, my grandparents that we lived with they owned a radio illegally, it was against the law. And Hitler used to talk through the radio, you know, to the masses. In with that the, voice, right? Well, yeah, with the vo he, he was yelling most of the time. Right. From that day on, I lived in fear because I felt like this guy wants my life. He wants to get rid of me. See? A German soldier gave you a warning when you were a boy, what did the German soldier say to you? The warning was given to my mom. This young soldier came through town mm -hmm. from Poland, so he told her, if you are smart, you make sure that your kid does not get taken away because unfortunately the children are the first victims of the Holocaust. That must have been a hard day. Right after my eighth birthday, this guy picks me up and he takes me by my hand and says, no, we are leaving, okay? I'm gonna take you to your aunt uh, in uh, Hungary. My mom told me, Asi, uh, if any authority catches you or asks you questions, tell them that your parents died by the Nazis when they were killed and you are an orphan. And uh, it was a very long day walking in the snow and in the cold. And of course, much of the time I was crying, I was upset. I'm just trying to put myself in your shoes of, as an eight-year-old, all you want is your mom. I mean, you can hardly understand anything more and you're being dragged away. Right. Now, you ended up reuniting with your parents. Yes. Because I'm already picturing your mom. When I see your face light up, what was it like to see her face again? Oh, it was wonderful. We were crying and laughing and... <laughs> oh, yeah, cavelling and yeah, yeah, All yeah. those things. Wow. Yes. You've said that you don't hate Nazis. Is that true? I don't know how to hate. I never had that, that feeling in me of hatred. Wow. I can't forgive. God has to forgive, okay? But I can't forget. I'm a kind of person I, I can't hate. I love people, I don't hate people. Wow. That's me. You are someone to look up to, wow. Did music play in at all or were the sounds just too scary? No, if you ask me, what's my religion? Yeah. I'll tell you, partially music. <laughs> Nishmati bechemla Raba emuhuna hatecha Mohote ani lefanecha You know, I, I pray quite often, you know. I, I did that when I went through the Holocaust. Uh, the reason was that I basically lost my faith in adults because it was adults who persecuted me. And the only thing I could turn to that day, to God. Yeah, I mean, sure. God was my friend because I just didn't trust anybody. Okay. Did you celebrate Shabbat? Yes. You did? Sure. Even after that? What well, did you do? What did you think my parents took with them? My mom took Oh my took God, the, they took the candlesticks. The candlesticks. Of course they did. And some candles. Oh, I'm gonna lose My it. father, the prayer book. Yeah. Uh, and every Shabbat, I don't know how you keep faith through that. We had to, and I learned a lot about human nature. 
Yeah, there's tremendous ability in us to survive hardships in life. Every time I put up my tallies, I'll think of that. Every single time. Thank you. And that those things... They matter. They mattered and they helped. Yeah, see, they strengthened you. Yeah, because it was part of our life. Yeah. So these things we could take with us. Amen. Amen. Wow, Tori. I know. I One story that I thought was just insane was they were in the wilderness and they saw a cave and Nazis were coming, they heard. And he climbed into the cave. He put his mother, his father, he took his little hatchet, he he stripped two branches, covered the cave covering, and sat like this as Nazis walk past and that Sabbath they lit the candlesticks wow. in the cave and he put his talus on that's the yeah. prayer shawl right because that was the only thing they had taken from the Nazis to save was the candle their faith and every time I put my talit on I will always think of him unbelievable I wow what an example he is to have no hatred in his heart I don't know unbelievable don't know to... yeah well done Tori yeah Thanks. we'll be right back